Men have tinkered in the shed for centuries, but it rarely results in a world record. But this next group of motorbike enthusiasts is the exception. Using scrap metal and old motors, they created an electric bike which can reach a speed most of us only dream of. If you think this is just an ordinary group of blokes fiddling around in the shed, then you'd be wrong. This mob means business, and its business is speed. Using John Eggenhausen's dad's shed at Tomago near Newcastle, the men, who don't have any formal training, built an electric bike out of scraps. We've taken an old dead motorcycle, we've paired it up with a, an old forklift motor, put some lead-acid batteries in it. John actually traded a $50 gift voucher for that old bike and it paid off. This is their creation setting a world land speed record in a particular electric category at a salt plain in South Australia. It reached an average speed of 177 kilometres an hour. It's not the first time the team has attempted a world mark. Last year it made the 4,000 kilometre round trip to Lake Gairdna, but the bike's motor melted. And it's no wonder the forklift engine is 24 volts, but the lads have tweaked it to run at 144. The disappointment of that failed attempt motivated the team to get it right the next time. So on the first run this time, when we got it out there and it didn't melt, yeah, exact opposite, elation. John and Kieran think they can go even faster next year, especially given the motor wasn't even fully charged when they set the record. We could have got to about um, 220 kilometres an hour out there, but uh, next year we're aiming for 300 and I think we'll get there. Touch wood. Kate Mitchell, NBN News. Certainly cause for celebration. Boys and their toys, I don't know. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs>